All right, live for the fifth time today, and still nobody likes my videos. Um, I don't know what you want to see. There's a lot of banging going on upstairs. I'm probably going to end the stream in like a minute. Nobody's even watching. I'll wait. Hmm. Hello. Hi, how are you? You remember me? From yesterday, I think. Yes, you do. Good, good. Um, uh, here's an HS scale layout. It's my brother's. But he has some cool stuff. Um, you know what? Can you wait one minute? And I will be right back. Uh, just a sec. All right, I got him back. Here he is. Hi, Scrum. What's up? And that is his layout. This is my HO layout. So I have nine working engines in total. One of them doesn't have a shell, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I can run them right now. But is sadly, what I was talking about. Sadly, we can't get the computer closer because it has a bad battery, so we have to keep it plugged in. But you can watch from there. Uh, got him when I was two. He is I have the MC still fully operational. System. I'm on the wrong engine for this. Okay, it looks like we're having some problems on the internet. There's some good news that next month when I turn 13, I'm allowed to get my YouTube channel. So, yeah, next month I will have a YouTube channel and you can see all this stuff on my channel. It's going to go off the area. Oh, there we go. So, as you showed in your live stream yesterday, you had a lifelike Santa Fe. F, it was an F3 or F7, I don't quite remember. Sure. But I would like to show you my exact lifelike Santa Fe. I'll park it in front because there's trains passing. Oh. Here's the CSX I was talking about yesterday. This one? The one that I think you have? And then you can't see it too well, but this is the Santa Fe. It's by lifelike. Yeah. And then the rest of the trains here. I'll get the box. A Brockman. Box. And this one's Whoppers. <laughs> the box. Okay. Here's the box for it. It's lifelike, so yeah. That's cool. Your chase X is a dash nine. They look similar though, don't they? I'm a Southern Pacific. Nah, 
This one, our brother Brett, he got this one secondhand. Sorry for the annoying comments. There's an N scale layout that way. So that's then also these, his. These are the LED lights I've installed in my city. They're all over for the city, but you well, sometime we'll do a live stream with that's night and we'll have the computer over by my layout and it'll be very good and you can see all the details. But there's for, an N scale layout under there. Under here. I mean H O. Yeah, there's another so nature layout under there. So they're double stacked. So we can show you the unscale layout. Anyways, welcome um, to the stream. It'll probably go for another five minutes. But the unscale layout's not very interesting because it's got about as much progress as yours does. So you can see it anyways. It's one loop. Some people think it's two, but it's one. Funny how you buy all secondhand engines, and I don't know if I have any secondhand engines. I think they're all bought new. So that's that one. It's got two bridges, a little bit of a, like a half a helix almost right there that goes around. So I don't have an engine yet. So luckily, Sunday I ordered one, and it's supposed to come Thursday. I don't know if you know this type of engine but it's a G E U twenty five C. It is that's an F3. There's a Santa Fe F3 on the other side. That's not an F3 actually. Do not touch it. Okay. So this is actually one this is a dummy here my cousin gave me for free because he got it from a trash dump. He fixed it but then he broke it again. Actually I didn't fix it but it half worked on I have a few things though. This is a very unique light car, Pennsylvania, that lights up when you put it on the track. Um, no, trash dump? That? No. Uh, yeah, that was from a trash Oh, this dump. one, yeah. Um, you have the same That's cool. I got car? this somewhere that's cool. near Canada. This thing I got on sale for only like $20. When it was originally 60 40. 40, whatever. I got a half out. Uh, what's by model power? Ooh, that's breaking. He doesn't know. So, what I found very interesting is, is the soldering iron you use is so much different than the one I use. Um, I don't know if it's by model power. Not. I lost the box, or I think it might have gotten thrown away. Usually you can. I don't know. Did yours have people on it, like little figures? This has figures. Mine did. Tell. They broke off. They broke off though. The bloating solder. Yeah, I, I use this that. one from Radio Shack. This is my first box car. It's missing all its coupler parts, but I still like it. Still is open to it. Let's see inside of it. So, some of the things I have. Yeah. model trains, I do have a question for you. So some people think that soldering is hard. Do you think it's hard? I'm just curious what you think, because I actually think it's quite easy. A few other things. It depends on what you're using. Oh, you know what? Yes, it does depend on what you're using. If you're trying to solder a connector to your track and you have the world's biggest... This doesn't look too big in camera, but this is actually, like, pretty big. It's not usually for train so, uh, use. It's used for soldering wires together. So, yeah, with this type this of... This is the caboose I was talking camera. about. The one that was CP rail that was yours. This is what I thought it was. This Uni Pacific one. You have any Union Pacific cabooses? Or are they all CP rail? Something else. I 
I have this. I was expecting, like, since it's Santa Fe be red, it's actually orange. So I'm going to show you one of the greatest deals. This is a kit. One of the greatest Put deals of all time that I got. I got a whole Chattanooga train set. The box is under my bed right now. But I'll show you the engine. And the engine for it was about $3 brand new. And it works amazing. So that's the engine. Everything works is brand new, so. Yeah. So that's the. I have this caboose. I got this for pretty cheap, like only 10 bucks though, but it's really good. It's, um, still has everything except this thing. I don't know what it's called, but like it breaks off of every single caboose. Uh, no, not from Canada. Sorry. Uh, we know people that live in Canada. Yeah, our cousins live in Canada. So there is one thing that I got secondhand. This is an F7 Wabash. Yeah, US. With a B unit. The B unit's a dummy, but it works really good. Very like quiet. Stack. Yes, we live in the US. Um, could you do me a favor? I don't know. It's okay if you don't, but... Um, if you could have, uh, like, um, I don't know, like, tell some of your fans about me. Kind of a small channel. Uh, what do you think about the music? Oh, you liked it. Yeah, I did too, although I lost my progress, like, three times. It was very hard. I have a few things that are second hand. I have uh, this not, this isn't. That's old. Missing parts. Oh, that that's okay. That's okay. Totally. I mean, I'd love to. As long as you all like put my link in the description or something, like credit me in some way. That's fine. Um, so I don't know if you know, but the there's a train in Alaska called the McKinley Explorer that runs. And it's a retired product now, so it's about it's worth about two hundred dollars. But I got it for seventy when it brand new on Amazon before it came retired. And this is one of the cars. To it, I like it a lot. Yeah, it's by Bachman. It's by Bachman. There's McKinley Explorer up there. So there, and then there's three cars, and then the engine. The, edge, the original engine that I have for it, it broke, and it had been broken for five year, years. And I tried to take the top off, but I couldn't figure out how. Oh, you have one too. Eventually, cool. I broke it off, like the top off. So I have something but interesting. So, so the top broke off, but it was actually in a good way. Like, you can't tell it broke off. I'll go get it. Missing handrails in the floor. Missing handrails somewhere. I got this second hand. It's a Santa Fe switcher. I thought I thought I saw one on your shelf that I thought I had, but I didn't. Back lights, front lights, both work. So yeah, this was. When I got working, and since the top shell was broken off, you can literally just lift it off. And the proof that it's a Bachman is right there. So, as you can see, this peg here, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a peg there. The other one broke off. So, technically, I could put one screw in it, but, yeah. I like, there's easy access to it. So, yeah, it's it's a really good runner. Sorry, live streaming with two people is hard. Is this nice Virginian hopper car? I saw that you had it in your drawer. I actually asked you to bring it out, but it's okay. I have it. And not only do I have one of them, but I actually have four of them. 
They're all the same. They all have a hole in them, too. Oh, wow. I got one. This is the BNSF I have. I got this one new. I think I got kind of a ripoff on it on Amazon. It was like $65. But I think it might have been worth it. It's, it's pretty good. The light's in the back. They don't... There's no light in the back, but... There's a light in the front, and it's just kind of your ordinary engine. So, not much to see about this one. I guess something else. I got this new. Um, it wasn't much. It was actually cheaper. I got it at a local hobby place. And it was cheaper than any uh, any other place new, any other online place. Um, here's the Annie for Thomas. I lost Clarabelle a long time ago. I don't know if you're a fan of Lego trains, but we are, so I have a pretty cool steam engine in Lego. If you'd be interested in looking at it or not. But yeah, it's cool. These are also kits. Two hoppers. They don't have coal in them. But it's very nice. So uh, Jonathan, he kind of goes around and buys his HO stuff places. He only has what, maybe 12, 15 cars? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. He has eleven cars. I think there's more than that. I have sixty-one working freight cars, like twelve passenger cars. Bunch of passengers. Lego trains are interesting because you get to build your own. You can, like, build whatever you want. Like, for example, this one is custom built. Um, I don't think I have anything else. To, oh, I do. This so, is awesome. I do agree with that comment you, that you prefer model trains. I do, too. I mean, Lego trains, you build them, and then, and then nothing. Like, with model trains, if they break, you get to fix them. You can have a lot of fun with them. Yeah, same with Lego trains. They fall apart all the time. Yeah. This is um, a dining car that I built. Um, it's an outdoor car. I don't know what you call that. Open air. But um, you can actually hold the roof down and eat outside completely. So if you don't get much room to sit like inside there, like the guy sitting there, he's going to get crushed. Um, I had another engine summer. I don't know where I went to find it. Okay, okay, that's it. Oh, except for the unions. So the 060 steam engine I showed you, I do have another one that's pretty much identical. Actually, you have it. It's a Union Pacific 060. I don't, you didn't show the tender for it in your video, but I have the whole set for it. But that is under my bed right now. I store a lot of the stuff under my bed because I don't have anywhere else to put it. Also, he's a cardboard genius. Like, he can build anything out of cardboard. So, UP as well. That's nice. Is there anything you want to see? Like, uh, there's another HO layout. There's this N scale layout here. Um, I love this car, though. It's just a flatbed, but it's a like, six axle. Literally, he has. Bins, I have. I just have bins of cars. I have uh, one caboose, 11 cars, and four engines. Yeah. 61 freight cars and nine engines. How many cars do you have roughly? Yeah, about. How much rolling stock? Because I, when Probably you're in your that. videos, I just see you opening the drawers just pulling out the train cars it's, it's like crazy. i saw you have like 20 cabooses i have one <laughs> although um i guess you have longer time to collect yeah it's hard to live maybe 150 it's, wow. it's really hard to live stream because reasons uh and um you will slap me eventually in the last live stream you slapped me which is awesome no, we deleted that live stream. I deleted the past four. Yeah. Twelve years. That that's a while. We have an O scale layout. We 
can Ooh. see that. Our brother. Okay, our brother. Younger oh, wait, brother no. has an O-scale Um, We can't get to the N-scale layout right now. The O-scale, not N-scale. I'm sorry, O-scale. He's, he's looking at the N-scale. We can't get it to right now because of... Uh, this thing doesn't hold any charge. Another question for you. When you do soldering in your videos, you say you tint the leads. What do you tint, tint them Lead. with? Lead. 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 Well, he's telling me lead, so I guess if that's right, there's my answer. Is there anything you would like to see on YouTube? Because I can. I have a different computer. We can go anywhere with it. Lead, tin, and solder all mixed together. Is that a custom thing you make, or? Um. Yeah, we can show more later. On my on my channel, there's a whole video on it. Yeah, there's like a how long is it? Ten minutes. So you a ten minute video. You can go there and see it. Yeah, you can. The HLAT is mine that I built by myself. It's no, nothing on it is his. He didn't even help. So, he doesn't get no credit. I, like, wired one of the lamp posts. Yeah, that's about it. Mm. So. I'll run it again. Mm, I'm not. I'll park it. I never parked it. He has like the most Burlington Northern I've ever seen. Like, I don't know how, I don't even know how much he has. How much do you have? Uh, well, on this train, there's oh, 10. Burlington Northern. Well, on this train, there's 10 freight cars, one caboose, and then there's yeah, two there more are. hoppers that are in the gravel port right there. I think that may be it. But he was cool. looking for an engine. And he actually ended up getting a Burlington Northern engine, but it's an N scale. So it's for his N scale layout. This went from a live stream to an interview with scrumptious model trains, like literally. It's kind of it's kind of cool because you're the only one watching. Hope you're enjoying it though. I had like four people watching on my last stream, and now I have one. How many people do you usually have watching your streams? Yeah, SMT interview 2018. I'll make that the name of the video. 10 and 20. I have between zero and one. It's great. Although my last stream I had four, which is impressive. Actually, one of my old friends was watching. One of my neighbors was watching. And then one of my subscribers. Also, um, I think that one of your subscribers subscribed to me like this morning. Uh, actually, no, it's not starting off. I just started like a year and a half ago. Um, but he deleted a lot of his videos because they sucked bad. Yeah. Um, I do do a lot of music stuff. 2016. Um. I think I did too. Like, I mean, seven, not yet 2016. I started in April of 2016. The month. So, you might have started before me. I know you're more about the HF thing, but if you do check out our, if you do check out Exalter, he is our cousin and he has an N scale layout. They live in England and their, their N scale layout's pretty cool. It's, Pretty cool. That's all I'm gonna say. So, yeah. We have a lot. Uh, my dad has a lot of O scale stuff. Like he has the Polar Express and a bunch of other uh, um, cars. He has. He got the starter set for the Polar Express, and he actually got a baggage car for it, and he got like three new cars, like freight cars. And he used to have um, another steam engine. Um, I think it still works. It's not very good though. It's missing the full car. And he also has a bunch of other freight cars. He added that. I think he used to have G scale too. 
Yeah, but he, he got had a rid video of, it. of it. He got rid of it though. It was really it cool. It didn't work very good. So so we've been like from N to H O to O to, to G. O to G. That's like four scales. And then if you add all the ones in between, like Lego, and then there's the power trains. Nobody knows what power trains, trains are. Wood trains do track. Power trains are like these. Dumb plastic, plastic ones battery that run on operated. batteries, but you can like. It's like a big step, not <laughs> live scale. We have a few videos of live ones. We haven't posted them yet. I haven't. My channel. He's getting a channel next month, so you can go check him out. Yeah. We uh sometimes we go to see trains near us because we have a railroad crossing right by our house. So just drive out there. Last time we actually went looking for a train, we caught a CSX that was actually doing some shunting and pulling out. Yeah, there's where we live. There's a passing line right near the road crossing. So a lot of times we'll see some engines, you know, delivering cars or something. And just for the fun of it. I'm going to give a shout out to Scrumptious Model Trains because he is the only one watching and probably the only one that's going to care besides anybody else that's watching. Railway go-kart. Did you do a video on the railway go-kart? If not, do one. Like, is it like a, is it electric powered or is it like a probably gas engine? Yeah, do, do a video on it. That sounds really cool. It's a speeder. Oh. Speeder meaning what? I, I'm you don't know what that is. Wow, you know. I, I don't know. I spend most of my time engineering with Legos. I actually made a Lego train layout. It's, it's a tiny one. Like, you can hold in your hand. Like, like you crank it and the train will go in circles. I have a bullet train that you can run on it and a steam engine. It's awesome. So, uh, what is a speeder? Because I have nothing. Uh, super oh yeah, we have another person. Super watching. pumpkin head. Uh, hello. Ooh. Is that how you spell vehicle in Canada? Or is that just a mis misspelling? A uh, super pumpkin head. Welcome. If I didn't I say, what's up? That way's up. So that's up. So the super, lights up. Super pumpkin head. What we're doing is we're just going around and showing some of our. Model trains and Legos and some of that. So, My HR lad I built is over there. So, uh, what do you? Uh, is, if there's anything you like to see, we can show it. Is there anything you want to see? We have Lego stop motion videos. I do too. It's just I haven't posted any. Um, I have a whole bunch of Lego stuff right, right here. Here's my workshop. Like, I have a whole bunch of custom stuff. I have the sickest Lego steam engine you will ever see. These are my cars. Yeah, I know it's awesome. It's custom. It's got lights in it. In front. And back. Like I said, this is custom, so it takes a long time. I so, Super Pumpkin Head, you can see my end scale I built if you're interested. It's a very confusing track. Also, um, here's the thing. Here's what I'm going to do. If we can get at least, like, five or six people watching the live streams, then I'm going to start posting my Lego stop motion videos. How do you like that? 225. I'm about to hit 20. Actually, no, I think I already did hit 20. I'm going to call this the 20 subscriber special. Um <laughs> If there's anybody who wants a shout out, I'm willing to give a shout out to anybody. You're my 20th. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I might consider doing the same with you. I thank my subscribers in some sort of way with like a video shout out subscription or something. I might have you to stop to doing that once I get. You need to make one of your cards like Scrum just did. You put all the you this. Is there some sort of car? Lego thing you want to see? Because I can literally build, like, anything. But it depends on the size. 
I'm limited to only sets. I have only sets, but most of them are destroyed. So, and I have a lot of sets. So, I have a wide variety of Legos. Uh, there's probably one thing I can get if you wait a minute. We can go into more detail about the end skill app. So one thing, I don't know if you guys realize, but this is on a door. It's a hollow core door. So I could cut off the lake with only one side of the door being there. I'm planning to take this to train shows because I think it'll be cool when it's done. One big track. That's a dummy Santa Fe, you guys see. It's a F7. So, for you, Super Pumpkin Head, I have 61 freight cars of rolling stock and HO scale. A little bit of end here. I've got nine engines and. Like 12 passenger cars or something. Some of my stuff is second hand, but most of it I buy new. So I think I might go because I don't have much to say. John Finn is coming. Yo, I have got it. Okay. This is by far one of my most impressive things. Um, it's basically just a giant rock wall section. The track's going through it. Um, this took me a while, uh, actually. I don't, I put an IR receiver part in there because I was too lazy to go out and find another one because that's how I freaking live. So trains can actually fit through here. Yes, I would. Um, Scrum except I need, uh, I need more parts because literally ever since I built this, I've been like dead out of gray. Like, literally dead out. I've been working on experimenting with uh, ballasting curve pieces and flex track and switches and the curve stuff like that. I like experimenting with curved things. Um, I made a train layout that is fully operational in mini scale. Um, in fact, I can probably go get it if he stays here. Hi. Bye. He will be back shortly. Scrumptious Model Trains, when are you doing your next live stream? Just out of curiosity. Because I'd like to see more of your live streams. That was the first one I saw last night. All right, live streams are amazing because I love them. Sorry. Here, up. here we go. So this is knob down here. Eh. I'm excited for your face reveal, Scrumptious. Doesn't work all the time, but there we go. Now it's working. I'm turning. Stop. Oh my gosh. Sorry. It doesn't work that well. I still need to make a few modifications to it. But it, it will go. It's kind of funny. It, it works best backwards. This is very strange. Oh, 4th of July. I won't be here. I'll be here 4th of July. Reaping tonight. I have to go. Not now. Not just tonight. We're, yeah, we're leaving for um, vacation tonight. I don't know what time zone I'm in. Um, what time zone is like Ohio and Indiana? The same as us, probably. Yeah, do you know like Eastern Standard? <laughs> I guess I could. Um, I have another bullet train, which uh, I guess I could run either way. So, I mean, since it's a bullet train, it has two engines on each end. So it doesn't really matter which way you run it. What day of the year the 4th of July is on? Well, the 4th, the 4th of, July. of July is on July 4th. Unless... Uh, is there different can different? Oh, I see what he's talking about. He's talking about the time zones. Oh. 
Okay, then I have the same time zone. Um, so, has, uh, have you ever been to, um, what do you call it? The Henry Ford Museum. Have you been there at all? It's in Michigan. I'm not sure if you've been there before. It's in Michigan. It's close to Canada. Not yet. Uh, but they have the, like, the only fully functional Allegheny left. And we actually go there all the time. They have a huge O scale sun that's have... up all year running. So Michigan this fall. Cool. Might see me there. Oh your dad. That's cool. Like where was he born? Okay. It's okay if you don't want to answer. Um what part of Michigan are you going to? Because you might be able to stop by. Maybe not, though. Okay. Just spin that around. <laughs> well, then why are you cold here? It sounds like a sword. It's not. Oh, we got a like. Uh, one of you liked the video. That's nice. That that helps. So, um, um, I guess I'm just here live streaming. Um, the sun scale out here. We can talk about that. Um, um, everything is mainly all the risers are cardboard. There's a lot of stuff that is cardboard, like. The hills are cardboard weave, or not not weave, but cardboard. You can kind of still see it there. Yeah. The mountains cardboard. The lake was patched with cardboard. Uh, the inside of the door apparently is cardboard too. Yeah. Believe so, it or not. Since it's a hollow core door, it basically has two pieces of wood like this, and there's nothing in the middle. But if somebody were to slam on the door, then you'd make a dent in the door. So they actually have cardboard like supports running through the door in the middle so that if somebody were to smash it, the cardboard would have to smash as well. And it's really thick cardboard. Okay. All right. Main campus. Where's the main Where's campus? the main campus? Like the U of M main campus? Like Detroit area? What are you talking about? Baseball. Oh, um, oh, Comerica Park. The Comerica Park where the Tigers play? Yeah, we've been there. Yeah, that's that's like, uh, yeah, it's like a 45 minute drive. drive from our house. Not saying which direction. Uh -huh. Safety reasons. Is Super Pumpkin Guy still there? I think there? The, pumpkin, the pumpkin dude left. Yeah. Um, if you're going to um, if you're gonna go to the um, baseball stadium, um, I don't know if they still play in the fall. I don't think so. They might. Stop. Send an emoji. So sorry. So, scrumptious, another thing that you did in our videos, you, you were pronouncing our names wrong. Yes. My name is Micah, and his name is Jonathan. It's pronounced Jonathan and Micah, just uh, for your next stream. <laughs> not Jonathan. Not Jonathan. Sorry, and not, how does he write? Sorry for the confusion. Yeah, sorry. Also, <laughs> you call him Mitchell, <laughs> and that is the nickname that he hates. Yeah. It's okay though, everybody does Name it. Name of the park in the chat. See if it's right. Um, oh. Right. Comerica Park, where the Tigers play. And then near that is Ford Field, where the Lions play, the Detroit Lions. Yeah, I'm not either. Nobody here is good at reading names, Scrumptious. You're not the only one. Um, I'm trying to think of something. 
So this uh, flex track here. This is uh, entirely flex track. Um, we were supposed to nail it in and then use like Elmer's glue to do it. It's not your layout. You stop saying we. It's oh, you mine. Meant football. Oh well, then Ford mm. Field. I that said that would be Ford Field. That's where the Lions play. Yeah. Ford Field. Is that better? Hold on a second. What? I'm looking at your um, picture, scrumptious. Your picture? It's it looks daylight. like the daylight, yeah. but it looks like it's pulling into a station that I actually have. Yeah. Come on. And Jonathan, he was talking to you last night about the the uh, the green switch house, and here's the proof that I have it. He said everybody has it, and you're absolutely oh. right. Is this the station that it is pulling into? Because it looks really like that. This looks almost exactly like it. That's it? Oh, that's cool. We actually have two of these. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows Does your Does your say Rockville on it? Does it say Rockville? It says Rockville. Mine does. So I think we might have to go soon because we're going to So this on is actually soon, my uh, so this was, I'm leaving. Bye. This was my grandpa's um when he um I'll just say he gave it to us. Yeah. And he actually added some stuff like out of wood and cardboard. That's a, that used to be a like a person. And then he added gutters to the sides. On the side too. He had some sort of like vending machine thing. Uh, he added oh, some oh, cargo in the back. It's missing quite a few parts. Uh, we had it glued onto something. You can still see hot glue. Micah actually had it on one of his layouts. It's he, actually he has restarted his layout. I mean, at least three, four, five times. Oh, Spartan Stadium. Um. Sorry, I'm not an MSU fan. I'm more of M U of M. I am 100% U of M. Although my brother's favorite color is green. So, I have an issue. Oh, yeah. You know where that pumpkin guy went? I have something that he would like. Pumpkin guy, come back. Where are you? Pumpkin, calling whatever his name was. Yeah, he left. There's only one person. Um, Super Pumpkin Head. I had a tree house. You can see it. It's a right the, uh, there. That's a tree house. I'll see if I can get it. Right here, treehouse, 100% custom. Really is cool. I know it is crazy. I am like completely out of gray and green and brown, like completely and white. Cause there's a house over there. It's a set though. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the good work. It is uh, very hard. I spend like all like if I'm not like doing some YouTube work or like on my tablet or something or doing other work. I'm down here building stuff like this. I have a whole bunch of other stuff that do things like I have a crossing like a road crossing that actually flips up. The push of a lever. I have a working, what do you call it? It's like a cable car, but it goes like this. You know what that's called? It's like a cable car on an incline. You do not know what that's called. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing I'm thinking, so. Oh. I'll wait back. 
<laughs> Neither can I. My dad literally just told it to me yesterday, and I can't remember. I don't know what it's called. I guess I could Google it. Yeah, they climb hills. They're pulled by a cable. Oh. Street cars? I don't know. No, they go up a hill. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm cable stopped. Cable cars! No, but they go up a hill. Yeah, no, those are cable cars. No, they're not called cable cars. cars. They're called something else. I don't know what they're called. Um, I do have an operating crane that works totally on cables. I think they might. I think it's like a two rail and then a gear that goes on a rack. Um, it might have a third rail. I've seen trains that have third rails, like the electric ones that have the, I think it's called a shoe. It like goes onto the third rail. Like there's the rail and then it clips on like this. I don't know what that's called either. Yeah, subways have third rails. O scale trains have third rails. Uh -huh. It wasn't too obvious. Uh, I don't really like the three rail O scale because. So I want to this. There's not. There's not a third rail in. There's not supposed to be. Not in the middle. Like, you don't see like a. Like, for you, it'd be, like, if you don't see, like, a CP rail coming through your local railroad crossing, it doesn't have some sort of wheel hooking onto a third rail. I mean, it's just a normal diesel engine. I mean, you run real, it's like real trains, like, in smaller size. So, like, it's a model of a real train that runs on diesel, but you have three rails. It's, it's ridiculous. That's why I like the two rails better, like N scale and H O S S double O Z T G. Any other ones I missed? G. Yeah, I said G. C. Four and a half inch gauge, seven and a half inch gauge. Three and a half. Real live. I know I'm missing one. That one. That brings me why would you want to run two trains? You mean like, what's the DCC version of O scale called? Oh, it's something, it's some MTH thing. Oh, that's nice. I am very enthused. <laughs> Oh, we might have somebody coming down into the basement. When I mean, I guess you could have more powers. I mean, I guess you could pull two trains back to back. The old scale is good that it has three rails because you can do a reversing loop with three rails. Which is cool. Did you have to restore your daylight when you got it? Because you never made a video about restoring it. And the daylight, I've never actually seen it run. It looks pretty cool. I've seen one of your videos, and it was the live stream last night. So I I don't know much. I, I mean, I've been to your channel. I've looked at some of your videos. Like Thomas the Tank Engine. Yeah, I can get that. Just a sec. Ta-da! Isn't it beautiful? And it still runs. And top comes off, reveal the inside. I can't believe it, Jonathan. There I used to be not. a circuit board in there, but, well, it, it did break. Oh, is, the, the daylight. Um, is Daddy even I guess home? you're talking about the daylight. Scrumptious, if you, if you look in the chats, the Daniel Davenport person, it's really funny because that's our dad. Yeah. I wish I had <laughs> Thomas <laughs> just like... Well, uh, you're the one who got it for me, so I guess it's technically yours, since you're the one who bought it. So I guess you do have them. I have Annie. Right here. So that's a problem. 
You can't hook those together in any way. You need like a twist tie. This broke once. And so we were trying to solder, uh, solder a wire in um, the circuit board here, so, but we couldn't get it. Um, Clarabelle's been gone like since I was three, three, four, completely gone. So there used to be a circuit board and we were trying to solder a wire, but it didn't work. So we took it to my grandpa and he figured out the circuit board was completely unnecessary. So he took it out and he soldered the power wires together and it works, it works great. It's just that um, it when, when you put it on the track, it doesn't run unless it's at full speed. But once it gets going, like it heats up for a bit, then it'll you'll be able to adjust the speed. It's very strange. The funniest thing, Scrumptious, that you have ever done is tried to run your CN crane on DC when it was DCC, and you thought it was broken. I have no C DCC, all mine's DC. I have DCC. I don't know what's for dinner. I'm not making it. Huh. I thought we were having shrimp scampi. I think shrimp scampi. Mom's on fire shrimp. This is a live stream of what we're eating for dinner. Enjoy. Jonathan, I think we should go. We're getting distracted. No, this is fun. No. Quality With scotch our tape. Favorite YouTuber and our dad. Like this is not. Favorite helpful. YouTuber and dad. This is the best live stream. Why not? Why not what? <laughs> yes, they are. They are definitely. Unless you. Unless you get DCC. Um, the circuit board's DCC. required. I mean, I think Thomas. It may have been DCC, but you could run it DC. It didn't have any sound. Stop. Hoping. No, John, because mine. I don't think so, though. It it wasn't big enough. I don't even know how you would run it. Yeah. You don't need the board for DCC. Well, his he has a Conrail. This yeah, DCC. What's funny is it I doesn't have, have the chip. It only has the circuit board. Yeah, both of my DCC engines they don't have chips. They only have circuit. They don't boards. have chips. They only have one main circuit board. But I think the one circuit board it's about the size of a chip. So the circuit board is probably. Wait, a do chip. you mean that you can have like one without the other? Yes, yes, I agree. Unless it's a butterscotch chip. That totally rules out the chocolate. Butterscotch chips always rule out the chocolate. Unless it's water. Water is life. Scrumptious, you will remember that. Water, you had to keep going back for water. It's hilarious. Hmm. You know, uh, you said uh, the um, model railroading was a rare hobby. Um, actually, uh, this place near our house has a train show, like, every year, and that's where we go. That's where I get a lot of my stuff. Peanut butter. Chips? Oh, my gosh. Stop! Dude! I have my Legos. I have my Legos. Sorry about that. Uh, Scrumptious? Um, I don't know. Scrumptious, do you have any Lego trains? No. I don't think that. so. He said that in his live stream yesterday. He said he wasn't a fan of them. You have the TGV set? No. That's no so way. Rare. You said yesterday you didn't. The TGV you is so expensive. Any. Yesterday you said he didn't have any. It's like you have to have two. Well, it, it it's um, made for power functions. So if you buy the power function set, you can actually put them in. Yeah, I buy my stuff when it first comes out because that's when it is cheap. Like 
I bought a um, Lego bullet train when it was still like $120 and now it's up to like 200. Um, my brother, he got the newer, uh, the newer blue one, the blue freight train. He got it for his birthday. I don't know how much it was. Dad, do you know how much it was? I mean, because it's pretty expensive. It's like 200 bucks. It's not cheap. Nobody knows. <laughs> Are you Googling it right now? You're probably Googling it. Hmm. Keith <laughs> $795. There is no way you paid $795 for that. There's no way. That's not that's not that's not even possible. Like you can Google it now. It, it's like 200 Um hello Keith. Welcome to the stream. We're just having a discussion about trains, if you're interested. Oh, I guess he left. Who's still here? Can I see who's still here? I can't see who's still here. Oh, somebody left. No, HS stuff isn't priced that bad. I mean, you can go on eBay or Amazon or some other sites have really cheap things. Also, if you go to train shows, you can get really cheap stuff like... My brother went to a train show. He had a, there's this guy, he had a box full of the snap track, like this, the track without ballast. I don't know what you call that. I think it's snap track. Snap track. Are you still here? No, not easy track. This stuff without ballast. Snap track. I think it's called snap track. And there was a bunch of rolling stock that came with it too, a bunch of like box cars and other stuff. Um, he was selling it for a dollar a piece, but he got it all for he got the whole box for like five bucks. So you can you can get really you can get cheap stuff at train shows. Uh, no, it wasn't power lock. Uh, I think I have a piece of it. Like this stuff. It's it's like the easy track, except it doesn't have the ballast. Is, do you know what it's called? It breaks off very easily. We actually had a lot of the spare track, so we took a few pieces and we chopped them up into really small bits because Micah is going to make a scrap yard to put here, but he ended up not wanting it, so... We still have all the spare parts. Just a moment. That's better. How did you like that? Oh, I got another person watching. Who's watching? Oh, nobody. Back down to okay. So, um, so for the whatever you call this, this stuff, we were uh, trying to make a layout for it that could slide out from under the other one, and uh, we had all this um, put together. But it's really hard to keep it together because. It's it's not like the easy track. It doesn't snap together. It only snaps together with like the rail joiners like that. Get it. And it's really hard to keep it together. So he had to hot glue it on, and it's still having problems. It it it. I think it runs now, but I'm not sure. 
he got to adding scenery, like grass, turf, and hills, but he kept getting more problems. So I think he just is either taking a break or not. Um, well, it's not nailed down. It's glued down. So you don't really need a hammer for it. I mean, so far, I don't think he's used a hammer at all on the layout. I mean, he got a foam board for it because he was, he used to be using just, um, run trains. I can't run any trains right now. All these layouts are my brother's, and he doesn't like it when I run them. I can probably, um, here, or something. Here's something I built out of Legos. It is a fully operational train layout that only works backwards for some reason. Oh, no, there it goes. So it is fully operational. It took a lot of work. I have a whole bunch of other cool stuff. I can show you some trains though. Um, here's a Southern Pacific. This is my latest find. I got this new for really cheap at a local hobbies place. It was like cheaper than any other place I could find online. So it was nice. Also the switcher. I got this at a train show uh, uh, late last year. I go to the same show every year. Uh, it's very loud and actually smells when you run it. So I don't run it too often. I have an Algoma Central that was uh, hand painted. It kind of looks like an Eerie Lackawanna, but it just has Algoma on the side. I have a few kits here. These are two hopper kits that took me about 10 minutes to put together because I had to figure out how. Instructions these days are not too clear, at least in my opinion. I have, here's another hopper kit. It lost its couplers because of little people destroying it. Um, Here's another hopper. This came with like my second train set. It's also missing its couplers. I have a lot of stuff missing couplers. Um, I think I have some more hoppers. Just, just a sec. I have these. Um, the coal won't stay in. There, I have I have four of these, so I usually pull them together. Um, am I gonna run his trains? He just put them away, and I. He said he was. He had to go do something else. September fifteenth. Where's the train show? Because I think there's a train show near that time. That I usually go to. It's either like September or October. Um, here's a Santa Fe box car, which is actually orange. I mean, I was expecting it to be red since it says Santa Fe because you know, Santa Fe is e usually either it's red and black and yellow or it's blue and yellow, but this one's orange. I don't think you can find this anywhere else. It is not real coal sorry i have real coal um nova scotty yeah I'm, I'm probably not going to novia nova scotia anytime soon i mean i'm in the u.s right now um it's a nice one it's a passenger car i got this half off at on the different hobby place and it's it's brand new it's only 20 bucks it is really nice. Yeah, I did not put my laundry away yet. I packed it. 
in the suitcase. The problem with this car is I don't have the radius curve for the wheels. They, um, it's required 28 inch radius. I only have about, oh, uh, bye scrumptious. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Very nice. So I need to get some 28 inch radius. However, they are very expensive and then low budget. Here's Annie's car. What else is there? Oh, here's a caboose I got new. It was very nice. See, this one's red as it should be because it's Santa Fe. I don't know who it's made by the. I think it's made by Lifelike. However, I could be wrong. Um, oh, that. This is by far like the coolest box car ever that I have. It's missing a few key parts though, like the couplers. Actually, that's the only part it's missing. Plus the pieces that hold it in. That's nice. Um, this was one of my first cars. It was my first car. Actually, no, I think I got this right after I went to get my second train set. It was a Santa Fe F7 that had um, this with it. And then it had a flat car and a caboose. The flat car and caboose are gone. The F7 broke, so I had to get another one, which is cheaper, and that worked very good. But then that one broke, so I actually ordered another Santa Fe F7, which was my third, and my brother has had two already. So that, that's like a total of five Santa Fe F7s. Right now, I only have the shell to it because my brother was trying to fix it, and he lost the engine for it. So right now, I only have the shell. I don't know where it is right now. Well, I might have it. Just a sec. Yep, I found it. Here's the shell for it. It's still got its coupler in the front. The other one's in the back. Easy. What was the cozy coop? I don't remember that. I can't. There's this one. This is a caboose that was my grandpa's. It's missing a wheel and all of its coupler parts. But other than that, um, it has a few cracks. The ladders are missing. Smokestack is missing, but like it just needs a wheel and a some coupler parts and it could be up and running again. Like a lot of my stuff, it it just needs some parts. So what? Uh no, you are not the only one watching. Um Keith Frittenberg. You want my snack? Um, right now I do not have Snapchat currently, so I guess not, because I don't know what I would use it for. I mean, I guess you could if I ever get Snapchat, but I don't see. Chucking off the driveway. Oh, I know which one. What car was that? The... Parks one, remember that we broke the wheel? That bent. Little kids, this big red and blue. Oh, oh, yeah. That one. It was a, like a little toy car. Like, it's the ones that, like, by the little tykes. It's like the one that babies ride in. It's not a train car. It's like plastic, and you sit in it. 
And um, we got ever since we got a new driveway, it had a curb. So we would take the car and just push it as fast as we can right off the edge. And it would go flying like so freaking far. So we would just constantly push stuff off like scooters and other stuff like that. Run a train. I can't run a train right now. I'm sorry. It's just, I'd have to set up my track. And Mike is not going to dance. Um, I don't really have a permanent layout right now, so I don't really have track set up. I have Lego trains, but I don't have a powered one built right now. I can try to set up a track. I'll try and set one up. Whoops. I'm going to need a moment. Dealing with some technical difficulties. You can wait a minute. My track is by far in the worst condition it could possibly be. So I'll just set up what I can. I don't think I have a full loop. I might. Where's my chat though? Yes, I am working on that. I said it would be a minute. I have to get the controller too. See, my track, my brother wanted to um, make a layout out of it, but he didn't like the black track, so he wanted to paint it gray, and he was also hot gluing cardboard onto it for, like, inclines. So that's a bunch of hot glue and paint all over it. It's not very good for the track itself. All right, I need to get the controller. Really sorry, I need to take better care of my track. Or better security of my track. Not. I need to, there'll be a moment again. All right, I got that plugged in. Don't worry, I'm packed. Not completely though. All right, um, you got three choices. I can either run Thomas, the Santa Fe Switcher, or my Southern Pacific. I don't know where my Algoma is right now. So you got the Southern Pacific, the Santa Fe, and Thomas. Which one do you wanna see? Okay, I guess I'll just pick one. Uh, the SP runs best, so I'll go get it. Alright, got the SP. Just a sec. Sorry, some business to take care of. All right, there you go. Like I said, this is in really bad condition and there are lots of technical difficulties. 
So you can see it around that far. It's not much, but I'm running it. I'll, I'll go get the Santa Fe. Here it is. This is by far the loudest engine I've ever had. And it's not DCC sound. It's just uh, the grinding. Doesn't go very fast either. All right, I'm gonna stop, Thomas. This thing has lasted 12 years and it still works. Impressive. Um, the next time I have a stream or a video or something, I will run the Algoma if I can find it. I have no idea where it was. I was trying to replace one of the headlights because it has like this, it's like a diamond thing. It looks like a diamond, but it's really small. And there's two in the front. So my grandpa actually found one. I might have left it at his house, and he found one, and I thought it might go to the engine, so I took it home. Of course, he said I could take it home and see if it fit, and it didn't. It was too big. So I put that and the Algoma something. Um, no, I don't have FaceTime. I have Google Hangouts. It's really the only sort of texting phone-like thing I have. Oh, you know what? I can do the light car. Just a sec. It's good for testing to see if See where your track is power. Uh, uh, uh. So it looks like power is just killed there. No. So yeah, that does light up. It's actually pretty bright. Like it's a really small bulb in there. What is your name? Uh, just, just go to my YouTube channel and it'll give you, it gives you my email on my YouTube page. Just go to the about page and if you click on the email, you can then go to Gmail and click on the Google Hangouts and add me to it so i think that's probably going to be the end of the stream because i've been going for a while i have to actually i'm leaving for vacation today so i still have stuff to do So, um, also, um, make sure to check out my channel. Uh, it has music on it, too. If you're looking for new music, have you been to my channel? My music? My music is nice, that you're saying? 
I think that's what you're trying to say. My face looks really weird with that light. Um, I is not there. What's not there? My email? Is my email not there? I, I can see if it's there. If if not, I can send it to you. Do you have a YouTube channel? Are you not talking? And you're still watching. You're not here. I can't find my email. Okay, you can um. Here, I'll put it in the chat. It's, it's a Gmail, so it's just at gmail.com. All right, so uh, that is going to be the end. Oh, my gosh, who just joined? Who just joined? Somebody just joined this chat. All right, I have to go. I'll uh, see you in the next video or whatever I do. Bye.